I like to listen. I've learned a great deal from listening carefully. Most people don't listen. That's what Ernest Hemingway said a long time ago in a time when the written word was paramount, right? It was the top of the heap. It was how we communicated. And if you look at things today, we're plugged in, man, all the time, all the time. <laughs> Sometimes a little too much. We're all saying lots of different stuff, but are we really listening? Taking a second to just listen, read, take in the information. I find when I connect with somebody, you know, reconnect, I should say, with someone in person, in real life, hashtag, uh, it's weird, right? Because a lot of the conversation, it, it feels like people are just waiting to have their turn to talk. I know I, I've heard someone mention that before and, and I've become very mindful of it, you know, trying to be mindful of it for myself personally to really let people talk but actually take in what they're saying and internalize it and then be able to offer feedback or engage in a conversation that's meaningful. Because it's amazing how short life really is. You know, this is part of that continuation of 40 days to 40. I'm now seven days out from turning 40. Seven days, one week. The countdown's on. Sunday is coming, November 13th. I turn 40, and I'm actually getting really excited about it now. I'm, 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 at, I'm feeling a lot better than I did when I started. And if you go back and you watch those first couple videos, I was a bit somber. <laughs> uh, but I'm feeling pretty optimistic and actually really fired up. I had a great conversation with a friend today and we were talking about my 40 Days to 40 series and I, I was like, you know what? It feels like I'm climbing Everest. And he's like, oh, so you're finally getting to the peak because it's all down half time. I'm like, no, no, no. That's not the deal. I'm just getting to base camp one. You know, I got a lot of life ahead of me and a lot of cool learning experiences yet to happen. And I'm stoked about it. So, you know, as part of this series, I try to think of, of things that I've learned over the last 20 years, you know, from 20 to 40, two decades of knowledge. And I like to think it's more than knowledge, it's wisdom. You know, my buddy Kay, he, he introduced me to a saying. He says, the difference between wisdom and knowledge is very simple. Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom, however, is knowing that you don't put tomatoes in fruit salad. Think about it. <laughs> uh, anyways, so as I was saying, listening. It's one of those skills I'm really trying to impart on my kids. And it's funny, sometimes I just see them, you know, engaging with other kids and it's just like, blah, 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 blah. we just want to talk. We want to espouse our views, you know, we want to really share our knowledge. But sometimes wisdom has to intervene. And we have to remember, we got to listen. We have to take in what we're experiencing from people and what they're sharing with us so we can take that and improve on it. And at the end of the day, grow. Anyways, what's your thoughts on that? Listening, right? Listening. I'm listening. See you guys.